Today I'm doing something very exciting. I've never done this before, so that's why I figured I would do it on camera. Do it with my friends, because what better way to do it? I'm dressing up as like a cowboy king, a country drag king for Halloween, okay? But I was looking into, you know, how to do drag king makeup and then I stumbled upon like how to masculinize your face. And then I was like, holy shit, like I can do this. Not just for Halloween, but I can do this whenever I want. You can use makeup to make your face look more feminine, but you can also use makeup to make your face look more masculine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some makeup, some masculine makeup today. It's not like drag king makeup, because I feel like that's a lot more exaggerated, but I wanted to do like a natural kind of like masculine look that maybe I could wear on a day-to-day -day basis, because I kind of like, Whenever I have a mask day where I want to present very masculine, I dress, you know, in masculine clothes, but I still look like a 12 year old boy. Like I literally look like a pea head. My head is so small and round and like I just, I look stupid. Like I don't look like a man. Like I want to look, I want to look like a man some days, but with my face looking like this, I cannot. So anyway, long story short, I'm going to be doing some mask makeup today okay first i gotta put in my contacts because the bitch can't see for some context if you're new to my channel i am gender fluid and my pronouns are they she they're doing construction outside of my building so if you hear that going on i apologize i watched a few videos on youtube about like how to do mask kind of makeup so the first thing that i need to do is thicken my eyebrows and make them less of an arch like give them more of like a straight look unlike my sexuality <laughs> usually dudes have like pretty dark and thick eyebrows and they're like pretty like straight across their face Next, I'm gonna put on some BB cream. I don't really have any foundation, so I'm just using BB cream. Hopefully it's good enough. I want it to look natural. Like this isn't, this isn't what I'm gonna be doing for Halloween. Ooh, this is just like a natural look that's wearable. I'm so excited. Like I never realized that I could like do this. I don't know why it never occurred to me that I could use makeup to masculinize my face. The only thing I ever knew like how to masculinize my face was to just not wear any makeup. But I like makeup. I like playing around with it. I like putting it on. So why the fuck not, right? Oh my God, you guys, I bought this fucking wig for Halloween. It's like a short wig. It's called like Mr. Dapper or whatever. It's so ugly. My partner said it looks like Young Snape. So we'll see if I end up wearing that. I'm not confident about it. We might cut it slash like style it. I'm also getting my hair cut in a few days back to my like kind of like neck height because right now it's getting pretty long and it, I don't like it. Now I'm going to contour. All of the videos I watched said to kind of contour like sharply. I have like such a baby face so I need to contour the shit out of my face right now. I'm just using this like really old NARS sculpting thing. It has like a highlight on the other end. It's probably like five years old, um, but it still works. So also I will link the video where I got this makeup look from. Shout outs to that person for making that video because it was really helpful because all of the um, tutorials I'd seen so far were like really exaggerated and like not, they weren't like, you know, cute for an everyday look. They were like literally for like theatrical performances and like drag and theater and stuff like that. Now we're gonna do a, a lot of blending. Okay, we're gonna fix this horrendous contour job. Oh, I forgot this part. They said to contour like your cheekbones to make them look higher. They said you don't need to bake your face, just kind of go over it with a powder. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
Next, we're gonna go in with some powder contour slash bronzer over top of the cream to just accentuate it. Okay. Looking better, I guess. Now we're gonna do a bit of eyeshadow, but the person in the video said to really, really be careful because you don't want it to look like you're actually wearing eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this color because it's like pretty natural and I'm just gonna go in the crease. Also, my bathroom lighting is horrific, so I'm so sorry about that. I think that's good. I like it, I like it. Moving on, we're gonna do a little bit of that same color under the eye, just in the corners. And then they said to go in with like a darker brown, like this, just in the corner. Oh, fuck, that's too much. Oopie. And then they said to go in and give yourself a little extra eye bags. Don't even ask me why, but. I'm like, bitch, I could have already used my natural eye bags if I didn't already co cover them up with concealer. Oh, now I kind of just look sick. Actually, I think that looks cute. We're gonna try and do a bit of darkness around the mouth area. As if I have like a little bit of five o'clock shadow. I just wanna look like a hot man. <laughs> oh wait. I look kind of good. Put my hair in a beanie, BRB. short I am and like how little I am like I wish I wasn't so petite because then I would just look more like manly I still can't get over the fact that like I know that I look like a girl but if you just like saw me on the street like what would you think if you asked me and I looked at myself which I have a biased opinion because I look at my face every day I always like interpret it as more like feminine than maybe it is Please tell me good things in the comments. The makeup definitely helped it. It definitely helped. I hope people don't think that I look like I'm wearing makeup. Like I want this to just look natural. I've never seen my face like this before. It's never looked so masculine and I love it. I'm definitely gonna be doing this more often. I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures first. Maybe put them on my Instagram. Oh no, but my Instagram's not working because my phone's not working. Anyway, I feel nervous. I'm nervous about putting this on the internet, but like, I feel really good. Thanks for being on my gender journey with me. I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you to everyone who has supported me along the way and everyone resonating with my story. If you haven't seen uh, my How I Knew I Was Gender Fluid video, I will link that below. And I will see you in my next video because that is all I have for you today. Here's a hug. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys.